uh, Pandora, which is a really popular uh, internet radio service. Uh, you know, I've already linked it with an account here. Um, there's a bunch of stations. You can add your station here pretty, really easily, just like about anything. It's usually pretty easy to get around this thing and use the user interface. Um, obviously, there's not too much going on here. That's about it. Uh, if you wait about 10 minutes or so, uh, it does go into a screensaver mode with the album art, which uh, I certainly appreciate. I wouldn't like a static screen uh, displayed all the time when I'm listening to music. Uh, Revision 3 is on here. Uh, you know, there, there is a lot of stuff uh, available. Whether you want to watch that stuff now is another question. Uh, you know, myself, I do like to watch HD Nation, so I appreciate that that's on here. And here you can see another instance of the buffering, which again, I know I'm probably harping on it, but if you are watching a long form content, it's not going to, I think, it really affect the user experience too, too badly. Um, but if you're switching back and forth, obviously, it, it seems to really take a long time. Or maybe I'm just really impatient, I don't know. I'm just too used to uh, using uh, my media center to change channels very quickly, I guess. Um, so let's take a look at, uh, let's see, there's news, so a lot of people are interested, you know, in cutting the cord, and I don't know, to me, news is one of those critical services. Uh, personally, I'm not really a, into the cord cutting movement, but, uh, you know, there there is content available. I think this is probably the same type of thing you'd see, say, for instance, if you went to CNN's podcast uh, listings, um, except it's right here on your TV without too much effort. Uh, sports, another important thing. Um, you know, as far as sports is concerned, they do have, I think it's like a Major League Baseball and NHL hockey uh, you can check, best thing to do is go and check the Roku website and look at the channel store to see what, what type of services are available. Um, so, Flickr is another, another good service, uh, and the Facebook photos is also um, pretty nice. You know, I could imagine giving this to a family member maybe that uh, like a grandparent or something, um, you, if you, I don't know if I, based on some of my experiences with the Roku, I'd just give it to them and say, here, set it up and use it. Um, I might have to set it up and configure it for them, uh, before I'd be comfortable with them using it. Um, but it'd be kind of nice, you know, to, uh, set it up for someone and they could instantly access, you know, family photos or something of that nature. Uh, so this YouTube app here is, uh, is actually what's considered a private channel. Um, and a private channel, it's a bit annoying. Uh, it, you can't access it through the channel store or the Roku, the normal Roku website. You have to go to their user forums or find uh, something online, and then go into the channel store on the website and enter a special code in order to add this private channel. Um, you know, I, I can kind of understand that for, I guess if it's a beta uh, thing or something in development. Um, and apparently that's what this YouTube uh, thing is, YouTube app is. Um, so the one thing I wanted to show you in here, uh, this is actually the only time I've been able to get the Roku to actually output at 1080p. So in fact, I've already got a search here, so why don't I just open this up here. Um, 
let's see. This looks like it promises to be 1080p. Let's try it out. Okay, and you can see my display has switched to 1080p from 720p. Um, but you know, this is one of the big selling points of the Roku now is 1080p. They, they really trumpet that. And it does work, um, but yeah, you, you just have to understand that normally the device is displaying at 720p. Um, 1080p, you know, I don't know how big of a deal that really is. Uh, when you're talking about internet streaming, uh, I'd be happy, honestly, if everything were 720p and had a really good bit rate. Um, you know, at least for now, we have work on 1080p after that. Uh, 